is this I'm fucking there when I'm fucking figuring out what the f I'm gonna do because we got demonetized. You motherfuckers weren't there when everyone in the f mob came at us. You motherfuckers weren't there when I got the false accusation against me. You motherfuckers weren't there when this lied and said that I got a pregnant when I did it. And then you dumbasses, three years later, believe some makes the same allegations again. You f idiots. I'm not going anywhere. I'm standing right in here. All right? These guys were with me in my darkest times. I'm not gonna leave them in their darkest times. F you motherfucker. I got my real estate, got my money, I'm fine. I'm not going anywhere. I can't be bought. As if it was any surprise, Fried and Fit did a response stream in regards to the recent allegations that Fresh got an alleged sex worker pregnant. And boy, is it embarrassing. From a classic Myron freakout. Three years later, please some bitch that makes the same fucking allegations again. Him blowing smoke up everyone's ass for a literal whole hour with baseless claims. She's stealing from uh, clients, right? They're filing police reports on her. She's getting fired from jobs because she's stealing from them too. Is this someone that you guys would believe? Accusations! These are not accusations. This is false accusations. And Both fraud and fit exposing themselves for being lying grifters. It was so embarrassingly bad that their own fans flooded the comments, roasting fresh for being the simp. <laughs> Sensational. Now the stream was obviously aimed to discredit the allegations, seemingly at a desperate attempt to try to save face after recent allegations <laughs> broke that Walter Weeks squirted his cock's knot inside of an alleged sex worker. However, if you're able to see through the smoke and mirrors, you'll see that the stream only served to use shady tactics in an embarrassing attempt to try to switch over public perception. Now this stream would consist of Myron making various shocking claims against the woman, showing quote unquote receipts of the woman essentially being a sex worker and an alleged criminal who apparently stole money from a man in china or something you're a liar you're a liar you know something that you're not telling us you slimy scumbag liar basically framing this woman up to be some sort of criminal now, this is a police report where she basically stole money from an individual okay yeah 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 she stole money from an individual soon after she claimed that she needed to, to get money from china construction bank the name of the bank and asked to stop at the china construction bank on yongjia road zwish district shanghai but the woman did not return 10 minutes after getting out the car and the reporter sent a message to the woman but she replied she didn't want to meet the reporter the reporter felt that he had been defrauded so he reported the case so this woman takes this guy's money and runs off with it right one of the people that she uh one of her clients right so what does that say about her character now to me, this seems like complete bullshit. Myron shows a scan of her Chinese ID, showed an interaction with some random guy and some random sex worker who we can't actually prove is her, showed a police report with the name redacted so we still can't prove that it's her, and as proof to corroborate this random police report that we have no idea who it's about, he showed a random Instagram video supposedly of her making it rain at some random ATM. <laughs> Hey man. <laughs> okay. I mean, seriously, Myron does not respect his own fans at all. Now, if this is true, the more important conversation to have is that Myron exposing this information is inherently exposing Fresh himself in the entire Fresh and Fit brand. Just a couple months ago, Myron was willing to defend her in order to support his friend Fresh, saying that she was Miss Asia 2023. She's a model. Her family's rich. She doesn't need Fresh's money. This chick is Miss Asia, okay? She's famous. She has her portfolio all over the internet. You're saying that he bought her a Van Cleef bracelet. We have no proof. No proof. No proof. No, it's not true. He he paid he paid half and I paid half. She has the resources and money and family stature to be able to buy that Van Cleef bracelet on her own. I'm telling you, bro. Her family is extremely wealthy in China. But I don't want to hear nobody talk shit about Fresh no more about not getting girls. Yeah, the baddest girl there. People talking <laughs> shit. No, he didn't pay her. They've been they've known each other for a few months now. Yeah, she's so. Cool. Uh, she comes all the way from the other side of the world just to see this nigga, so I don't want to yeah. hear no fucking hate no more. People say, Fresh, you don't get no girls, bro. This nigga ugly. He looks like a pug. All right, well, how do you end up with that girl? Now, when it's convenient to discredit her in support of his friend Fresh, Myron immediately jumps at the chance of exposing her as a lying, manipulative whore. 
Allegedly. She's been running around saying that she's not an escort, etc. No, I don't do this, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'll let you guys decide what you think after seeing that. Obviously, you guys can see her. That sounds like negotiating for something. I don't know what particularly, right? But I think we all know kind of what it may or may not be, right? You guys might be wondering, well, Myron, do you got proof? Oh, I do got proof, actually. I got video. Here she is taking the dude's money and doing what she's about to do with it. Now, if this was true, which I highly doubt that it is. I seriously doubt that Myron or nobody in their circle knew about these things beforehand. And I think the more likely conclusion is that Myron lied about her being a sex worker to discredit her in front of their audience. And to me, that begs the question, what does that say about fraud and fit? When one guy is literally a lying, scamming, deadbeat simp who admittedly shoots his cock snot inside of women and begs them to get abortions. I was with this chick and we were kind of like fizzling out. It wasn't working out, but she got pregnant. And then um, I did the Hail Mary and now I'm here. No, so, tell them what the Hail Mary is. You tell the chick what she wants to hear and that you can have kids later on, make her get an abortion, you take her at, at McDonald's, get a McGriddle and an orange juice, you sit her down, you tell her about life and I, you started this happen. You never see again. And the other guy is so loyal that he is willing to lie and destroy his own credibility all to protect his friend's face car. And Myron still didn't address the fact that Fresh lied in everyone's face about buying the $30,000 Van Cleef's bracelet despite his name being in bold letters on the invoice. Now this stream was completely disingenuous on Myron's part. And to me, it's undeniable proof that neither one of these guys have any credibility. We need to look at the character of this woman. Is she actually telling the truth about this pregnancy? It's questionable. She's a criminal. Y'all see it. Just y'all know, her mom doesn't talk to her anymore. I wonder why. And, and you best believe, I'm calling immigration on you. 100%. We're pursuing every avenue to fucking go after this chick. Now, although Myron was wrong and disingenuous at a lot of points, Myron was also right about a few things as well, particularly when it comes to the woman's intentions on having the baby in the first place. She said, you know what? I, I, I'm done with this guy, but I'm going to burn down the whole building while I do it because I'm angry and I feel a certain way. So I'm going to let my emotions get the best of me and I'm going to air out all this stuff. In an interview with Albert and Preet, she would answer a few questions regarding the situation. She would detail that once she told him about her being pregnant, he would push her to the side and basically act as if they never had any type of relationship, despite him saying on various occasions that he loved her. Great trip. Happy C. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me break uh, But, you know, as time passes, we must say farewells for a short period of time. I love her. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me break. It seems to me that she actually thought they were in love and she thought that there was going to be a relationship in the future. And when Fresh pushed her to the side, she basically started to expose him out of spite. Not because of her religion, like she originally said. In my religion, we don't kill. But to get back at Fresh for essentially doing her dirty. What if you think we don't keep the baby because we're not together anymore? Things happen and I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to take you to the hospital. That would be fine. I would be okay. But he the, he did completely the other the other way around. That just that just made me so sad. That just made me so sad. How can you how can you uh you 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 said you love me like literally two weeks ago and don't get me wrong i'm not saying it's right by any means but you play a dangerous game when you intentionally shoot your children inside of someone tell them you love them and take them to your home country to meet your parents now i personally believe that this marks the beginning of the end for fresh and fit as they are now exposed for being lying manipulative hypocrites who don't live the life that they preach to younger men but you guys let me know what you think about it in the comments down below